Alright guys, let me shut my office door here real quick. There we go. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to this video here. Um, and welcome if you're on my blog, ebloggerpro.com. Uh, thank you. <laughs> uh, actually, to tell you the truth guys, my name is David Boozer. I'm a highly successful online entrepreneur. Um, actually, I do a lot of uh, consulting and training and mentoring, have my own products and services out there. Um, but for the most part, I really just enjoy working with people, period. That's it. <laughs> nothing more, nothing less. Um, you know, how to start a blog for a beginner. There are so many different things and strategies and, and things within this platform that we, I could go through. This, this video would last hours upon hours. Um, but uh, what I want to do right now is just go through the, just a couple of the very basic things that you need to get down first. Uh, when starting a blog period for any beginner, any newbie out there. First off, let's go through with, um, geez, you know, finding a niche <laughs> or a niche, I'm sorry. Um, what is your business? Um, what is your product? What is your service? You know, those are the things that I think uh, that you need to really figure out first. Um, usually, you know, there's people out here who just blog to blog, and I think that's a wonderful thing. Um, I, I do it myself on several of my websites, my blogs. Uh, on this one right here, this one is actually specifically designed to help, you know, uh, beginners to search engine marketing and blogging and, and, you know, just different kinds of marketing and things like that. So the thing is, is go out there and find something unique, find something that you like to do. Usually I suggest this, look for something that you already know. And what I mean by that is maybe uh, some sort of hobby that you have. Um, maybe it could be something that you're, you know a lot about. Maybe it's, it's from your work history, whatever you've been doing uh, for a long time. Uh, things that you just like to get out and enjoy doing, uh, you know, like uh, fishing or, or outdoor stuff, whatever. Doesn't matter. Uh, you could enjoy sports. <laughs> Anything, it doesn't really matter, guys, what it is. The thing is, is find something that uh, you're interested in. Because the one key thing to any success here, and if you really look around online, you're going to find out that that pen is dry. Uh, what you're going to find out, actually, is the fact, guys, that those who are successful online enjoy what they're doing. Uh, we really, really do. We enjoy doing online marketing uh, at davidjboozer.com. I enjoy blogging and teaching people search engine marketing at ebloggerpro.com. I like rants, raves, and reviews about anything at davidboozer.com and just talking about whatever I want to talk about. And the thing is, guys, is that I get out there and I do this and I enjoy doing it. So get out there and find something that you're going to totally enjoy um, for not just weeks and months to come, but years to come. Years to come. Now, the second most important part is um, once you find that niche, that little thing that you like, it's all about content. That's the most remarkable thing about blogging is content. Um, content is king online. Content is currency. Um, you know, it's just the way it is. But there is a certain strategy. There's formulas to sit there and create good content. Most people out here, and I'm sure that you've probably seen this to too, where, you know, everybody's talking about search engine optimization, SEO and SEM and all of that. I actually believe that when it comes to blogging and starting a blog, you know, get all your ideas down about what you want to really wrap that blog around. Um, start getting ideas for the different pages and stuff like that, because when it comes down to it, it's going to be all about that content and how you create that content, how often you create that content, and how long and how often people look at that content. So there's a lot of different strategies that you can use within your blog. As a matter of fact, I'll give you a couple simple strategies right now, a couple little simple things that you should know. I like coffee. <laughs> Ooh, what a perfect blog. Just blog about coffee. That'd be awesome. Uh, you never know. I'll probably find you and <laughs> buy a bag. Um, you know, whenever it's, you sit there and you start thinking about content, most people think that this is just all about words, just writing words. As a matter of fact, this, this one reason right here is why most people don't get out there and blog. They always think that there's automated blogging software and blog creation and content creating stuff out here is going to help. It doesn't. As a matter of fact, you need to go out, you need to write the words. That's the hardest part about this is not being lazy, just doing the work. <laughs> so let's just do the work together. How's that sound? So, words are going to be, in effect, some of the main components of creating content. Words, 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 words. We hear about keywords, keyword phrases, long tail keywords, um, latent semantic indexing. We hear all these different things out here online and they all really converge. Anchor text, 
They all converge around words. But words are not the only thing that should be in your blog. Images. Guys, images are awesome. <laughs> images make it a little bit more interesting and more fun, a little bit more, a, more appealing. You know, if somebody sits there and sees your video, decides to go to see your blog, or they find that your content is right there on the search engine, and they, they look at it, uh, they click on it, and they see this image on there, it looks kind of cool, maybe it's funny, maybe it's serious, whatever it is. But either way, it could appeal to them to stay on that site a little bit longer and start looking through that content. And then the different images in there, images that actually say something, that uh, give facts, give uh, graphs, give uh, maybe a kid with a finger in his nose, who knows? But the thing is, guys, is that images really are eye candy, and it's a good thing to use for you beginners out there. Another thing is, is one thing that most bloggers, I think, miss, and probably about 70 to 75% of them. And this is how I've been able to manage and get myself ranked online very well is I have a simple formula and strategy that I use to sit there and create a piece of content using all kinds of different factors about that content. And the thing is, is one of my major factors here is video. We have to understand, guys, that 80% of the people out here will not read, not read all of your content. They will scan it. They will look through the words. They will find things that are bold. They will see things that are uh, uh, bullet points. They will see images. Um, you know, they'll look at images, see graph charts, images of funny images, whatever it is. But 80% of them are just looking through this. They're just scanning. They're just going to scan the content. But a video, this is a magic secret here to keep people on that particular piece of content. And to tell you the truth, guys, I usually put that video around the third paragraph somewhere above it or below it. And the reason is, is because it's above the fold or it's just right below the fold. And so people can just start scanning, bam, there's a video. The video explains the content just like I'm doing on eBlogger Pro right now here. I'm just explaining the content that's already here. And the thing is, is that that helps my SEO. It helps my search engine marketing. Not to mention it better brands me and builds up my, uh, uh, basically, your, your trust in me and the information that I have. This is a perfect way, guys, a perfect way to sit there and really, really set your blog off in the perfect direction when you get going and you get started through blogging. It's basically make sure that you incorporate images and videos. Make sure that you got some good basic linking structures going in there. Make sure, guys, that you're doing it the right way the first time. No auto-blogging crap. No auto-content con uh, creation junk. No spamming people's junk with your comments, going back to your blog. This stuff doesn't work anymore. You actually have to do the work. You have to work for it today. That is the key <laughs> ingredient for any success online, no matter what platform you're using. Work. Period. Anyway, thank you guys very much for being on this video once again. Um, please feel free to look around at ebloggerpro.com if you guys want to. If you're just here on YouTube or Daily Motion, you can click on the link down there. Grab yourself some free video trainings right now. No obligation at all. Just giving you some free trainings, free information about multiple platforms out here that you can use to literally start building and branding and managing a business online the right way the first time. All right. Anyways, thanks again. No matter what, God bless.